after my first uh, hour on a windsurfing board, I uh, rushed up to a shop and, and got a windsurfing magazine and I knew exactly, that's it, yeah, that's, my, that's my sport. Uh, back in the days, in the late 80s and, and uh, 90s, uh, we could only, yeah, could only estimate huh, how, far, how fast we can go. And, and um, I read in the magazines amazing stories about people going over 40 knots. Uh, uh, Eric Beal back in the day, 40 knots, that was, that was incredible. Pascal Macar, uh, those were the famous names, Thierry Bielak. Uh, and then later also um, Björn Dunkerbeck, of course. Yeah, I was watching the speed surfers there in Sotavento was back in the days in 1991. This was the fastest place, basically. Yeah. And uh, I saw the guys, I saw all the really fast guys and, and I thought, oh, wow, someday, maybe someday I will, I will also join a, a speed competition and, and yeah, that was always always a big dream. And in the first year I was attending the Dunkerbeck Speed Challenge, I met um, Raffaello, Raffaello Cardelli, and um, uh, some other guys uh, told me a lot of stories about the, the channel in, in Lüderitz. And uh, I was always really fascinated about those stories, about this channel in the middle of nowhere uh, about uh, going speeds that you can never achieve on, on open water. Raffaello called me and, and uh, asked me if I wanted to come because he needed a photographer for the event and um, he offered me to, to uh, starting slot, he offered me to compete, to go down the channel and um, uh, do all the all the pictures, all the documentation uh, for the event, and, and I didn't think for a second. Uh, just yes, let's go there. Let's go to Lüderitz. On the first day, uh, we came to the channel. Uh, we drove there, and and um, the first uh, thing you see is is um, the finish area, the finish area, and then the channel going up. I thought, okay, pff, nice to be here, but it's not going to happen for me. No way that I go windsurfing there. And uh, to be honest, I, I needed uh, at least a week, uh, 10 days, to get used to, to the channel just looking at it. remember my first run, first I scratched my fins because I'm not used to, to a small speed board and um, they are really small and um, I was afraid to hook in. Um, my first run I didn't hook in the harness, I was uh, afraid to catapult and I went down the channel uh, uh, unhooked and after the first run I thought, okay, that's kind of weird, but uh, in the end, it's just windsurfing. It's something that I can perfectly do. And um, after a couple of days, um, my, my times were progressing. I ended up with uh, 46.7 knots average on 500 meter with a top speed on GPS of uh, 49 knots and uh, yeah that was more than, than my goal was. My goal was to go 45 knots average and um, so I was perfectly happy. Uh, I came really close to the Austrian record and uh, that would have been uh, the last little bit <laughs> but uh, yeah next year. <laughs> 